Hey everybody, welcome back to Yeast 4. Alrighty. So, we got a brand spanking new sword. We learned how to equip items. I recognize that sword of yours. I see. So that's what he wanted to discuss. You intend on leaving us then? Adol nodded and explained that he was planning to travel to Canaan Island via an underground passage. Ah, I know the one. It was originally built for followers of Alma. They would use it on their pilgrimage to her final resting place, Zemeth Island. I do vaguely recall there being an entrance to Canaan Island somewhere along it, so you should be able to get there. I'm worried, though. You've only just defeated that monster. Surely you should rest here a while longer. Is there really no changing your mind? Then at least allow me to give you this. Seed of Vitality! I wonder what that does. Take care, Adol. May the blessings of Alma always be with you. What does that do? Max HP plus five. A seed that emits faint light raises... Okay. Oh, here we go. Yep. Okay, why use his items? Since it doesn't look like there is a boost. We don't have boost power. But we have a healing stock. That's fine by me. Fine by me. Hey there, Adel. I heard you beat that wandering calamity before the chief and my brother could even get to it. Is that true? If it is, you're really something. Our grandmother, she... She said to take care of anything you have that needs mending. I thought I was dreaming for a second. She's never said anything like that about Norazian before. Never. You need something, young man! Probably because I beat down a giant fire-breathing turtle monster with a fucking steel sword and it's supposedly not possible. I heard you were the one that fought that wandering calamity to protect Lelisha. Who'd have thought there was a decent boy like you among the Eurasians? I admit, I had you pegged all wrong. Huh? He's not here either. How does he always have to be such a pain? My sister's always telling me I need to help with this and that. She's worse than her mom. I can't take it anymore. He's hiding right below you. When you came over to help us out, I wish you could learn how to cook. Every time I try to help at home, I end up messing up. In the end, my father-in-law told me to come here and practice for a while. Oh, if it isn't Mr. Hero himself. Everyone's saying you fought a wandering calamity, and without a weapon made of your mouth. That... unbelievable. It's plain to see why you're the talk of the village right now. I couldn't believe my ears when the Ridden started talking to me normally all of a sudden. So I recall they said something about you saving one of the children in the village. Considering that the bridge is still down, it seems like a chance to settle here for a while and do some peddling. What? There's an underground passage to Canaan Island, you say? How oh, very curious. I heard tell of an underground ruin, but as to whether or not it leads there, well, you got me. Although, I've also heard it's full of monsters, so it's not like it'll do me much good in the end. You have new stuff. You don't have new stuff. Well, technically, I could buy some Cheeto. Buy some Cheetos! <laughs> oh, no. Not that. Buy me some Cheetos! Huh? Where'd Mommy go? Normally, my wife, Winnika, would help me with my work as a craftsman, but she's not the most cut out for it, to say the least. At the moment, I believe she's out helping Sola instead. He said that our my goddess of the spirits rests on Zenmith Island north of here. However, the currents surrounding the island are fierce, and none of us has ever been able to reach there. Even if we could, Zenmith Island is a holy place to us, Rita, and we are forbidden from treading along its sacred ground. So we stay here, and fight Diablo! It looks like Chief Warriors recognized you as a true warrior in the end, huh? I swear, I've never met a raising quite like you. Okay, the fisherman guy... 
was not in his house. Which makes me wonder if he's down by the beach. Oh hey, this is definitely a stronger weapon. Haha, uh -huh, you did zero damage. Give me your honey! Now I wonder since now if. Are you. Fisherman? Fisherman? Aha! Hey, I'm in the middle of fishing right now. What are you looking so shocked for? I think my work's easy, you know? Huh. Alright, well, it... Damn it. Oh well. Since we have a sword made of MacGuffnium. Swing. Do we still do zero damage? Okay, we still do zero damage. given how things are going right now. I don't want to accidentally use a healing item. Alright, I say we head up toward the broken bridges. Um... Edel nodded and explained that he was planning to leave via the Underground Passage. Um, will you... take this then? He should have presented Edel with a simple bracelet. I carved it myself. I'm sorry for being scared of you. And, um, thank you for saving me. Thank you, Edel. I hope you'll come by again. Ola and I already can't wait for your next visit. Hmm. hmm. Cool. To make sure that there's like nobody else camping up around. Besides, we can get some more MacGuffinium. 
You cannot hurt me any longer, B man! Oh, I can hurt this thing now. Uh, maybe I can't. Never mind. Anybody here? Nobody? Okay. Just checking. Killbug rhinoceros like dropping my like, crystals. Decent stock of honey on the way. All right. Oh. Hmm. You'd be crossing if you not, I would. I take it. Well, we'll see when you get there. We'll see what kind of lifestyle this bastard's living. Still, you by yourself aren't crazy. Can't help but wonder what you think of their lives compared to ours. According to the chief, the passage ahead of us leads all the way to Kanan Island. I've also been told that it's crawling with foul monsters. I'd initially thought that we might be able to use it as a replacement for the bridge, but in its current state... No, I still don't know where... It could be a female warrior.
ain't gonna complain about healing items. So these are the monsters that you fear. Meh. They are kind of annoying. Suddenly, I'd also resonated with the door. Okay, then. Looks like I need the right key to open it. Then I guess I'll just have to find some other way. I thought I'd run into someone else in a place like this. Who are you, anyway? You sure don't look like you came from the town. Adol introduced himself and explained how he recently washed up on these islands. Adol? Adol Kristen? <laughs> you never really know what fate's gonna throw your way. Fancy meeting the legendary Adol the Red here at a time like this. I've heard all kinds of rumors about you. Mostly ones about you being a real goody two-shoes who can't keep his nose out of other people's business. I don't think I could let a chance like this slip me by even if I wanted to. How about it? After seeing how much of a fight you can muster against my halberd? Prove to me that Blue and Malo's sword of yours isn't just for show. Ah. Uh, Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty two shoes or no, at least you know your way around a sword. The name's Geis. I'm an adventurer like you, but I dabble in a bit of mercenary work on the side when I feel like it. Now onto the other side of these now on the other side of these ruins is a place called Canaan Island. There's a town there where all the people who've washed up from Europe live. Why don't you just sit tight and mind your own affairs for once in your life? It's for your own good. So what do we got? We got a thing with some stuff in a ooga booga booga. And then... Stuff happens. And then... Shiny lady do something to big goobly monster. The door is firmly closed. And then a... Legendary Pokemon comes out. And then there's a Triforce. And then Holy Titties. Okay, yeah, I think I translated that right. Ghouls are cool. Ow, ow, stop it. Monsters in the cave. What giant tenderly bugs? And granted, these things are pretty fucking annoying.
ね。Dungeon of bug squishing. Oh, okay, bring it on, bitches. Ow, fuck. Not in a way that actually means you're gonna win. Hmm. We may have already taken as much stone from this area as we're able. Looks like we're going to need to start taking it from the underground, then. Uh, looking forward to having to take care of all the insects down there first. From my experience, those should pose no trouble. My concern lies more in angering the Terran people. Oh, come on. Who cares what those tailed freaks think? They got nothing to do with us. All we need to think about is making our own lives safer and more comfortable. That's Master Basil's way, and I'm with him every step of it. I suppose you're right. Oh? What the? How'd you end up in there? You sure don't look familiar. Are you with... Are you the mercenary who washed up here a while back? No, he's not. He seems to be a new arrival. In any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Lloyd of the Basilum Trading Company. This man is our associate, Zaxon. Based on your appearance, you've come from Europe as well. Would you mind if I asked how you came here, came to be in the Underground Passage? Adol introduced himself and explained everything that had happened since his arrival on Quatera Island. I see. So you were rescued by the Raider then. And you say the Underground Passage extends across the seafloor all the way to Quatera Island? The most interesting find. We should inform Master Basil at once. You must be one gutsy bastard to make your way through a dangerous place like that. How about it? You fancy working under Master Basil? Life is damn good if you do, and you'll forget, forget how you washed up here in no time. Now, now, Zaxon, we must impress him. I'll be returning to Master Basil, as we agreed. I can, can I leave the bridge surveillance to you? Eh, yeah, yeah, leave it to me. Alright, be seeing you, newcomer. Maybe we'll get a chance to have a drink together sometime. If you make a detour east from here, you'll find yourself in Port Rimgorge. Remorg. The town which we call our home. I refer you to my employer, Mr. Baslam, so I insist that you come visit his mansion once you're able. He acts as both representative and leader of our town, so it might be wise to solicit an audience with him. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, uh. Yep, this one busted bridge, all right. I'm not sure it's even possible to repair it from our side alone. Before. Are you new here? You must have been through a lot. Make yourself comfortable here, okay? Interesting sword you've got there. <laughs> oh, I get it. Guess Chief Ward's taking quite a liking to you. Hmm? Me? I'm a raider. Isn't it obvious? If we're being honest, though, the tribe isn't all that fond of me. Hmm. Are you a new member of our dear community? My name is Augusta. As you can see, I'm a wandering minstrel. Oh my, that sword you have is an unusual one. 
A red-haired swordman carrying an amalous blade? Hmm, I can feel a song coming on already. Oh, you must be new here. Welcome to my humble establishment. You must have been through some rough time recently to end up here. Hmm? A white mirror? Eh, no, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've never heard of such a thing. If it concerns a raider, it may be worth asking the professor. He lives in the wooden house at the southern end of town. Hero tax! Hero tax! Fuck you people. Can there at least be a hookah I can get, like, stoned on? Oh, your name was Edo, was it not? Wasting no time coming in to see Master Buslam, I see. He's been expecting you. Welcome to the Basim Trading Company. I hope you enjoy your visit. Uh... Let's not plot yet. Uh, what I ever do to deserve running a street stall in this heat? My sister said she wanted to run the shop next to her here on her own, so she shooed me out. Okay, so you can only have not you can only stockpile nine of an item. Still, if you have nine of really oib. Wild fowl meat. Ah, blue pot ions. Inside the great Voltex. You come on as always welcome. Take it easy until you settle in. Oh, are you new here? So you got washed up too, huh? Still, you should be glad you got away with your life after ending up with the Vortex. My name's Anise. I'm a fisherwoman. It's gonna be a pain getting used to life here at first, but we're all in this together, yeah? to the professor. Alright, so we need to go talk to the asshole in the mansion and this professor guy. So, I will cut the video here and I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.